Welcome back to another video in my shader series. In today's video, I'll show you how to create nice hologram glowy effect, which flickers a bit. Make sure that you are using Unity 2019.3 because we will be using Universal Rendering Pipeline. Open Unity, create new 2D project, name it 2D Hologram Shader. Go to Window, Package Manager, then scroll down till you find the Universal RP, install that. Right-click in the Project Panel, Create Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, Forward Renderer, name it 2D Renderer, then go to Edit, Project Settings, then go to Graphics and set that 2D Renderer there. Also go to Quality and make sure to select that 2D Renderer. And don't forget to check the HDR feature in that render if you want to continue with the glowing effect. Change the background color to black from the main camera. I've already prepared uh, a hologram texture which I created in Photoshop. I'll show you how to create that in details now. Also, I'll be using the Lunar Viking character which I created in my last video. In Photoshop, create new file with widths 512 and height 512 and keep the resolution to 72 pixel per inch. The main idea is to play with the alpha channel. In alpha channel, the white color means full visibility and the black color means invisibility and the values between them, which is the gray, means partial visibility. So we will be creating a shapes with gradient, linear gradient, with grades from black, preferably not to use white, so we can use light gray in the end, in the middle dark gray and in the end black. Draw a rectangle shape using that linear gradient we created. Then start copying it vertically to cover all the texture. Select all the rectangles, rasterize layers, then merge layers to make them on one layer. And rename it to main texture. Hide the main texture and duplicate it. Then this duplicate, resize it on Y axis to create a small rectangle again. Then duplicate that vertically as we did for the gradients till you fill the texture file. Then you can activate the main texture again and set its opacity to 40% and move it to be the top layer. Finally, you can create two big rectangles and fill them with linear gradients that start with white, in the middle black and in the end white again and set the opacity for those two layers to 40% again. Then save the file and your hologram texture is ready. Now back to Unity, create new shader, 2D renderer, sprite unlit graph, name it hologram shader, then create new material, name it holo mat, and drag the shader into it. Double click on the hologram shader to open it. Right click on an empty space to create new node, sample texture 2D, which will represent our main sprite, then create new property, texture, name it current sprite, and set the reference underscore main text that's necessary as a reference to our main sprite, then drag that current sprite property 
to the graph and link it to the texture. Then we can select the default texture to be our hero, the binary lunar viking, to see what will happening in the shader live. Create another sample texture 2D node and add a new property, name it hologram texture. Then select the hologram texture that we created in Photoshop. Drag the hologram texture, then link it to texture. Then create multiply node to multiply our character alpha with the hologram texture. Then create new combine node to combine the new alpha with our sprite RGB. And as you can see, we start to getting the hologram effect on our sprite. Link the combine node with the color to see the result live. Now we need to move that hologram texture vertically on the Y. So we create a new node tiling and offset and we link it to the UV of our hologram texture. As you can see, if we play with the offset on the Y axis, it will start moving vertically. So we will be using the time to control that. If you link a time node to the offset, you can see it start moving instantly. But we need to control the movement speed so we could create a new property, new vector one property, and we name it the scrolling speed. Then we combine that with the time and link it to the offset. Set the default scrolling speed to 0.5 or any other value you prefer. You can adjust that real time from the material itself later. Now, as you can see in the preview, if we started rotating our character, the hologram effect will also rotate with it, but we don't want that to happen. We want the hologram to keep going downward regardless the position on the rotation of our character. So we add to the UV of our tiling offset a new node, the screen position to get the position of our camera or to show this shader based on our view, not the rotation of the sprite. And we link that to the UV of the tiling and offset. Now you can see the hologram effect showing regardless the position and rotation of the shape because it's based on our view. Let's group all the nodes related to moving the hologram shader into a group named hologram scrolling to keep things tidy and organized and group all other nodes in a group named hologram texture. To color our hologram, create a new color property and name it hologram color. Set the mode to HDR to make the color glows if you want. Then multiply that with the last node we got. You can test coloring by changing the default color to something orange. And don't forget to increase the alpha of the color to start seeing the results. Gru group those new two nodes into color group. Now we need to add flickering effect by creating new node, random range, and make it random values between 0 and 1, which means between black and white over time, so we create a new node also, time, and we link that to the seed of the random range but we don't need the values to be between 0 and 1, we need them to be between 0 0.8 and 1 to give a slight flickering effect then multiply the results of the random range with our color to get the final results of our hologram shader. Now save the asset 
and let's check what we got in the scene. Now drag any sprite or character into your scene, then drag the hollow material, the hologram material into it to apply the effect. Expand the material and check that you have selected the hologram texture. You can now adjust the hologram speed or color in real time. And you got a cool hologram effect. Now let's add a glowing to that. Go to the main camera, add a new component, volume. Then create new profile and add override bloom. Check the threshold, also the intensity. Set the intensity to something like 0 0.5 and the threshold is one good I think. Now you can play with the hologram color by increasing and decreasing the intensity and the change its color till you get a satisfying results. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to get notified about next one. Till next time, see you soon.